Hello and welcome. Today we're working in accounting, in financial accounting, on preparing a trial balance. Now this is the first trial balance, which we also called an unadjusted trial balance. So let's see where we are in the accounting cycle. Now the accounting cycle, there's nine steps. During the period, we analyze transactions, we make journal entries, we post to the ledger. We're going to do this step four, do an unadjusted trial balance. So we had a problem that I worked on a previous video. Look in the link below to see that video where we did about 15 different transactions for ACE Consulting. We have lots of debits and credits. We follow the rules of debits and credits. So I've got videos on that. I've got a whole video on these transactions. And we showed how to get to the ledger. The ledger is just simply, we can do it a couple of different ways. We can do T accounts. This is the general ledger that lists all the accounts. And so there's a T account, there's the left side, which is the debit, and the right side, which is the credit. And for cash, for example, we take all the debits and subtract out all the credits, and we have a balance of 9,550. We do the same thing for each account. Now, the other way you might be able to see this in a problem, you might see, well, we have, here are all our accounts, and here's the balance. Now, what are they testing? If, if a teacher gives you this, a professor gives you this, what are they testing? One, they're testing, do you know the account types? And so you'd have to go back and figure out what's our assets, what's our liabilities, equity, revenues, and expenses, and then what is the normal balance? Just this balance, is that a debit or a credit? And so if you have the ledger, you might see, hey, all the assets are together, cash, accounts receivable, supplies, prepaid insurance, and equipment. Those are all assets. Then we have liabilities, accounts payable, unearned revenue is a liability, then equity, and so on. But you might see a problem like this. So let's, let's pretend like we started with this. We don't know maybe the ledger balances or whatever. It's a little bit easier if we have ledger balances, but it takes up a little more room, you know, maybe a couple of pieces of paper if you're doing a paper test. Um, and so, but this might be a good way of testing. Do you know the debit balances and the credit balances? All right, so let's go through real quickly and figure out what each account is. Accounts payable is a liability. It's a payable. Any receivable is an asset, okay? Cash is an asset. Common stock is a equity account because it's ownership for the business. Dividends is an equity account. Equipment is something we own of value, so that's an asset. And the prepaid insurance is an asset. Now, if you don't understand prepaid insurance, go back and watch the video where we paid for six months of insurance in advance. Rent expense is an expense. Service revenue is revenue. Supplies is an asset. Unearned revenue, now this one's tricky. You see revenue and you wanna hit revenue. Unearned revenue is when people pay us ahead of time for services. We haven't performed the service yet, so we can't count it as revenue. We owe them that, so that's a liability. Utilities expense is an expense, and wage expense also an expense. All right, so here we have all the types of accounts. Now, we know based on our rules, remember I use dealer as the way to remember debits and credits, so I've got a video for that. Check on the link below. We have assets, take debits to increase, and expenses take debits to increase. So the normal balance of assets and expenses are debit balances. The normal balance of liability, equity, and revenue are credit balances. Okay, so we, once we know it's an asset, we know the rules that it follows. So we're gonna do an unadjusted trial balance. Looks like this. So let's get started. So what's our, our first asset? So let's go back and look at our assets. Our assets, we have, I think, five. So we have cash. Accounts receivable, we have, what else do we have? Let me cheat over here a little bit. Supplies, prepaid insurance and equipment. Supplies, prepaid insurance, and then equipment. Now, generally what we do is we always put cash first. These ones in the middle, 
it really doesn't matter the order you put them in. And then the uh, assets that have long lives like equipment or buildings uh, or trucks or whatever, we put those toward the bottom of the list in, um, in the assets. All right, so what's the balance of cash? The balance of cash is 9550 Now, is that a debit or a credit? Well, because all these assets are going to have debit balances, so 9550 What is accounts receivable balance? It's 1600 What about supplies? Supplies is 4600 What about prepaid insurance? is 1,800 and then equipment is 5,000. All right, so I think we've done that correctly. Let me check my work real quickly. Looks like that's all correct. Now, the next one we need to look for liabilities. So do we have anything that's a liability that says a payable? So we have one liability there and we have one liability here. So we have accounts payable and unearned revenue. So accounts payable and then unearned revenue. Both of these are going to be credit balances because we know the rules of debits and credits. So what is accounts payable? It's 1200 And what is unearned revenue? 3200 So we have two liabilities. Now we know we have, we have common stock as equity and we also have dividends. So our two equity accounts, so look at our two equity, common stock and dividends. So common stock is $12,000, so we know that's a credit balance. Dividends are gonna be 250. Now dividends are a little bit unique. Dividends are the opposite balance of normal equity. It's called a contra equity account. Let me write that out. Contra equity. That just simply means it's opposite. It takes a debit, so it takes a debit to um, decrease equity, so dividends have a debit balance. Now, if we go look at the ledger, we already see this. Dividends have a debit balance. All right, so. Make sure you understand how that works. So we've got our assets, our liabilities, our equity. Now we need revenues. We have one revenue and it's service revenue. And it's gonna be a credit balance. How much is service revenue? It's 9,500. All right, and I think I have three, we have three expenses. So what are our three expenses? Our three expenses are Wages expense, utilities expense, and rent expense. It doesn't matter the order. Uh, I'm going to copy, if you don't mind, I'll just copy these real quickly so I don't have to type those in. So here, wages expense, utility expense, and rent expense. These are all going to be debit balances. What are wages expense? Well, $1,200. Utilities expense is $400. And rent expense is going to be 1500 Now, what do we have here on the unadjusted trial balance? All we're trying to do is list all the accounts, put the debits in, and put the credits in with the proper amounts, and we're trying to figure out, can we add this up? And does the debits and credits equal? Well, in Excel, we can do equal sum, start a parentheses, and add all this up. we we'll do this super quickly. And the total debits is 25900 And then we know we have it uh, correct, or we, we feel good about uh, its accuracy, if we have 25900 as a credit balance. So this is how you do an unadjusted trial balance. Now, go back to the counting cycle. We've made all the entries. we posted to the ledger, figure out the balance. So now we've done the unadjusted trial balance. So now we can do adjusting entries, do another trial balance, get our financial statements, and finish up the period and figure out what, uh, how did we do, what is our financial results, and that's by looking at financial statements. 
All right, in the next video, we'll do financial statements. We'll do adjusting entries and financial statements and see how all this works with the accounting cycle. Hey, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.